Breaking the Wall of the Human Cell. My team, William Kim, RWTH Aachen University. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I feel very lucky and honored to be standing on the stage today and talking to you for a whole three minutes. <laughs> okay, so I'm talking about breaking the wall of the human cell, and by that I mean literally breaking the wall of a cell. And um, the technical term for breaking the wall of a cell is endocytosis. And endocytosis is when a cell basically swallows things, and we in drug delivery, we want cells to swallow drugs. And uh, we want to deliver the drug only uh, to where it is needed. So this is crucial for cancer treatment, where you want to destroy cancerous tissue without harming healthy cells. So for this drug delivery, we have built a nano-sized drug carrier, and this is how. So you will need, of course, the drug. Then you need so-called targeting ligands that will specifically target the cancer cells and then induce endocytosis. And you need to um, tag your carrier with some fluorescent dye so you can actually track it with a fluorescent microscope. Now, all of this is prone to be destroyed by our own immune system because our immune system thinks that this is a harmful invader. That is why we need to disguise our drug carrier. And for this disguise, we use a biocompatible polymer called PEG because PEG uh, makes the drug carrier look like a harmless water molecule to the body. Okay, now more scientifically, PEG um, is a polymer. That means it is a long chain-like molecule like this. And um, PEG is the nanomedicine all-star. People love to use it. They attach it to everything. It's so common that PEG-elated, that's a technical term, actually. So um, the tricky part is now that we need to combine all of these different components in one carrier. And those are all, well, different complex molecules. Binding them together is complicated chemistry. And imagine, well, you think you want to um, not use a red tag, you want to use a green tag, that's a totally different molecule, or you want to incorporate even more components, which makes it even more complicated. Now, we found a solution that will make things so much easier. We designed a new polymer that we for now call polyphenol. And uh, they look something like this. And polyphenols and PEG, now they like each other so much that once they meet, they, they wrap around each other very tightly, and they form nanoparticles, and they do them all by themselves too, which is called self-assembly. That means we can now bind together all of these different components or any pegulated components, simply by adding our polyphenol, and we wrap it all up into one particle. Now, proof of concept here, what you see in red are human cancer cells, and we expose these cancer cells <coughs> to, our, to our polyphenol carriers that combine the red fluorescent dyes you can see in red, um, and uh, the respective targeting ligand. So we showed this works, and we did actually break the walls of these cells. And um, this is just a start, but I would love to see our polyphenols become the next nanomedicine all-star. Thank you.